Hey, scop of the GL. It's the boy doing McLean, the McLean TV, man. Shouts out to everybody in the DNTV Nation. I really appreciate all the support we've been getting. And I really appreciate everybody rocking with me and uh, supporting this channel. I also support my other channel as well. We want to continue moving forward with this year and trying to put as much work and much effort in as possible. And I hope everybody's taking note that you're not going to get stuff the easy way in life for some people. Some people got it where they can do shortcuts. Uh, they can do that and make it. But the average person, we're going to have to work extremely hard if you want to see any type of success. So take note of that. If you notice anything that I've been doing, if you want to take any notes from me. All right. Um, hey, I know I had my issues, but hey, I, I try to stay getting back up whenever I fall back down. All right. Um, again, if you're looking for a promotion, email patrock1982 at gmail.com. And uh, if you look, want to get do an interview with me, also hit the email as well, patrock1982 at gmail.com. Also, if you are uh, want to support the channel, my cash app is dollar sign DMTV2 if you want to support. But the best thing you can do is like the videos and comment. That's the best thing. I had some easy to block captain. Um, some black yesterday going on. Um, but today's video is going to be uh, or a subscriber goes by the name of Red Star asked me to do a video about mental health and uh, depression and stuff like that. You know, um, you know, just like disorders, like, you know, I, I took it as like bipolar and stuff like that. Depression. First thing first, let's y'all got to start watching all the red pill videos. Stop watching the red. Those the red pill videos, probably the worst things to ever happen. Yeah, have a lot of men out, but there's a lot of dudes out there who just really dislike women and dislike anything, and they just talk crazy. Depression is real. Those guys will come on here and say, oh, depression is just an excuse to not do anything. It's not. There's chemicals in your bodies that releases, that causes that, you know. Certain foods you can eat will cause you to think different. Certain toxins you can take, like alcohol, drugs, they will cause you to go into a negative mind state. So, and then you might your body might produce more of that naturally, you know, um, you might see somebody who just floats through life perfectly and you're like, dang, why can't I be like that? They don't have any issues. They got great genetics. They never had a family or a timeline of people who had depression in their life. So if your parents suffer from depression or you had grandparents who suffer from depression, siblings, there's a chance you can too. That's why the doctor asks all your history. So he knows what he's dealing with. Okay. So let's throw that out the window that depression isn't real. It's very real. I dealt with it in my family. I deal with it. And there's sometimes you just, it's going to be in your body and it's really, really hard to push through. Now, if you feel you have these things, please go see a psychiatrist, a therapist, a doctor, go seek medical help first. Okay. If you feel you have these type of issues going on with you, that's prohibiting you from achieving your goals, that's stopping you from living a normal life. I've seen this with, with family, close relatives suffer from this on the day-to-day -day basis. They can't even be around family because the mental issues drive them so hard. And it's just not something you just wake up and fix with that. Okay. Now there are solutions. I'm not saying you're just uphill without a paddle and you're just done. I'm not saying that at all. If you have these type of disorders going on in your life, um, you can start making solutions to make your life better. Nine times out of 10, if you're depressed, um, like I said, it's a chemical thing, chemical imbalance, go get medical help. Or it could be stuff with the your your surroundings that is causing you to think in a negative state that's causing your depression, causing you to have, you know, these, these days where you're just not motivated, okay? Now, I know a few ways you can fix it. And it's kind of really hard. The number one thing would be, I would say, starting out, would be re to remove whatever it is giving you the issue. So say you get depressed every time you go to work, you don't like going to work, you need to start coming up with a plan to get another job. If it is um, your, uh, say, your body or your, your, your um, I don't want to, I ain't trying to fear nobody, but say you, you're depressed because you don't like how you look. Start making a plan. You're, the first thing you're going to have to do is start putting an effort to change your surroundings. Now, if you're dealing with depression, you have to, number one, remove whatever it's called. So if you have negative stuff in your life, you got to stop that. If you're smoking cigarettes or stuff like that or whatever it is, you're, the toxins you're taking, and you feel you're addicted to those things, a lot of those things can inhibit you to start having those negative thoughts. Like, I remember when I was drinking alcohol heavy. I would be good. I drink. I have fun while I'm drinking. But after 
my wake up, I have a big, big slump of depression and low self-esteem and low vibrational thinking. You want to use that word vibrations. Um, so if you are having those type of issues, I would say to try to cut that out as soon as possible. Start making a plan to you're not going to get nowhere without a plan. It's everything in life. Everything needs a plan and a execution. OK, so start coming. So if it's a relationship that's causing your, your depression, start thinking of ways to get out of it or end it that day. And sometimes it's just not the snap of a finger things can end. Like if you have an addiction issue, you're just not going to snap your fingers and end it. Change your surroundings, the people you're around. You might be around negative people. There's been people who I've been around. As soon as I'm around them, I just get in a low state. And if it's a relative or like say it's your, your, your parents, you can, you feel you have to, you got to keep your parents in your life. But there's something called love from a distance. If this person is your relative and every time you're around them, they're just negative and they're driving you to a state to where you're high. So, so say before you encounter this relative, right? You're having a good day. As soon as you get around them, you're having a bad day. You need to limit your access to them. When you're in a relationship, you need to end that relationship as soon as possible. That's causing that. Um, surround yourself with more positive people. Uh, start thinking more who you're hanging with. Um, get Go out and make new friends. Um, and I would say start practicing solitude. But sometimes when you're going through this depression thing, you don't want to be alone. And find somebody to talk to. Another thing you can, do, you can start doing, watch self-help videos every day. Every day, watch self-help videos. Videos like this, the one I'm creating, uh, other ones. Start researching on ways to help yourself, okay? Like I said, you're going to have to get in motion. If you are in a state of depression and that, that, that disease is destroying you, you know, depression is a, is a terrible disease. It's almost like worse than cancer, you know? Um, but you're going to, with cancer, you got to start getting your chemo. You got to see a doctor. You got to start doing, you got to get a surgery. Depression is the same way. If you're just staying in one spot, that depression is going to eat you alive. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll see a doctor to give you a bunch of medications. I have seen the negative effects of those medications. And when you watch those commercials, there'd be so many side effects that come with those medications that I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't suggest, but I would say still try to at least speak to somebody, you know what I'm saying? If they give you some medications, try them. But if you feel like it's making it worse, I will say get off of them. But try to find different ways to medicate yourself if you need up to get out of that depression state. You know what I'm saying? And that does not mean, hey, uh, this medicine isn't working. Let me try smoking some marijuana or some type of herb or something. Now, marijuana help, I feel like it is, it is a good one. But sometimes marijuana, I've seen put people in depression. They make them think differently. So be careful with that. And put better things in your body, okay? That could be another thing. If you're eating really bad, Try to make that decision too. Now, I know that's going to be hard, especially with the times we live in. We're working all day. We get off work. You don't want to cook. Start trying to make the mental effort that, hey, this right here is going is what's causing it. And also start doing a lot of self-searching. Start really looking into yourself. See what is causing that issue. What is the issue? And, and really start thinking about a lot of stuff. Do a lot of self-thinking, okay? Um, another thing would be, will, will be, getting stuff off your chest and speaking to people that will listen. Not people that want to critique you, not people that want to judge. So I say get to a therapist, somebody who's trained, somebody who specializes in that field. You can also reach out to me for consultations. I'll listen to you. But, you know, I'm just like the therapist, man. I'm charging too. You know what I'm saying? But they have, but the difference is with the therapist, they got programs out there that where you can go to one for free. Okay. I don't know how it is in your state or your county, but start looking into how to get that with free. If you have insurance, some doctors take insurance, some therapists take uh, insurance as well. So I'll say start doing that. You know, that'd be one way to help with your mental state and letting it out. Find a good friend you can go and speak to. OK, now I'm telling you, if you got a friend, he going to hear that every week. He ain't going to hear every week your problems or issues. Don't run them crazy. Get all you can out and start finding solutions. A lot of times I've been that friend that had to listen to my friends who had depression issues or mental issues. And it was the same issue. And, I all, and they didn't like my response because I'm like, why don't you go fix it? You know, and they'll get mad at me because I just didn't want to sit there and listen to them. You're going to have to take execution with anything in life. If you want to do a business, you're going to have to execute. If you want to go to, you go to work easy because the job is already there, but you still have to get up and go there. It's part of the execution. Start coming up with a plan, but you got to vent and let that stuff out. Understand it's real. You know, uh, don't don't want to just say, hey, give yourself a self-diagnosis. So I say go to the doctor. But sometimes the doctor still be giving off, you know, 
the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Practice spirituality as well. All right. You need to get your spirit right. You know what I mean? And however you, you do it. I practice my own personal spirituality. I don't prescribe to any religion. I probably never will. And uh, there's nothing against nobody who does. But if you're somebody who do, you're, you feel more comfortable going to an organized religion, that's there. Because look, sometimes an organized religion does a church. You Say for a church, for example, you join a church. You already got people there you can talk to. You already some, if, Make sure if you're going to join a church, join a good one. Peep the people there they're, they're, and stay far away from negative people. People that as soon as you get around them, they have nothing good to say. Um, change your words that you put in your head. Uh, if you want to be saying, I can't a lot. I can't. I, don't, I know it's hard. I, I fail a lot daily with this. Okay. I'm not perfect. So start trying to change your thoughts. If you say, I can't a hundred times a day, turn one of those. I can't to I can. So now you're saying only 99 times a day, not a hundred. And also understand this. This is not going to happen overnight. People want quick fixes. And I want people on YouTube and people watching, viewers. And if you're not even on YouTube, it's people in life in general to stop looking for that quick fix. That stuff never works. It only works for a small percentage, okay? Understand that when you start working on your mental health, it's going to take time. You're not going to get it overnight. You're going to have times you're going to relapse. You're going to have days where you're up, you're down and out. Try to, when you're in those states, realize, hey, I'm in this depression state. Let me get out of it. You know what I'm saying? And also start finding things that make you happy. Now, if stuff that makes you happy is negative things, like say you get happy when you go in a store and you just steal everything. That's not something I would advise because you're going to put yourself in a situation to where you're going to get caught up and now you're in a lower state of depression. All right. And say you like to drink alcohol when you are down. That's not a good, good way. If you, if negative things make you happy, you're going to have to make that change. Okay. I wouldn't just say, Hey, do whatever you want. It's going to make you happy. That's not what I'm suggesting, but I'm saying if you find, I like say exercising, that's a good, that's a good way to start too with your depression, exercising. And when people sit here, the word exercising, they get overwhelmed. Don't go to a gym. If you never exercise a day in your life and you're depressed already and you're sleeping around all day, you need to just start going for a walk the first four months. Walk 10 minutes a day, three to four days a week for the first four to five months. And then gradually get into a gym. Y'all y'all get a gym membership. Go to the gym. You're going to put yourself in a lower depression because you're going to get there. You're going to see all these people who got good diets that most of the people in the gym already have great stability. Fam friends, family that care about them, um, people that can uh, probably got decent jobs and then they've already been going there. So they're way ahead of you. They make it look real easy. They don't care about the pain. you got to train your nervous system to start working out. That's why I advise people when you start working out your first two months, no, your first five to six months only need to be walking and stretching three to four days a week for six months. Y'all got to stop with the, oh, six weeks, lose 20 pounds. These YouTubers need content, so they'll give you some stuff to click on. Nobody's going to click on, hey, get your fitness dreams in five years. You're not going to click on that. Fix your credit in 10 years. Nobody's going to click on that. Let's fix your credit in 30 days. It's going to take three to four years to fix your credit the right way. Start doing things the right way because those quick, easy fixes are only going to lead you down a worse path. So like I said, sometimes they can work. You might go to credit recovery and they can fix it in two or three months. But sometimes you're going to end up putting your money in, right? So say this right here. This is how it can lead to more depression. You put your money in a credit cleanup. They don't clean up your credit. You're relying on them. And now you're going to waste your money. Now, now you're, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm just a failure. If you were to put the work in, now your end result is going to look a lot better. You're going to feel a lot better about it. Get out of the mindset of quick fixes, okay? Mental health. And then take your mental health serious, Take this very, very serious. Understand that, hey, my health, my mental health must come first. And whatever it is, say it's, if it's your job, if it's friends, family, you must take that out of your life. Okay. I want everybody to understand that you are in complete control of your life. No matter what disorder you have. Think about it. There's a guy out there with no legs wrestling. There's a blind person out there driving right now, driving blind. Okay. I'm making that up. But it's pretty sure there's somebody blind out there who gets around every day. No complaints. It's all about your drive and your mindset, okay? And if you are somebody where even with the drive and mindset, you can't overcome that beast, understand if you continue to fight at it, you will overcome it. And the problem is 
Y'all would try hard for three weeks trying to fight the mental health issues and the depression is still winning because you got a chemical imbalance in you. Okay, that's why I said you got to work on your health because things around your eating is probably inflating that chemical imbalance. Uh, stress is another thing, you know, people in night initiate your stress or ignite your stress, make your stress levels rise. Get rid of those people that are stressing you out that's leading you to smoke your cigarettes, to drink your alcohol, to do your drugs. And those, those three things are going to put you in a lower state. So say you're somebody who had a bad day at work. I'm going to go home and get drunk. You go home and get drunk. You get too drunk. You get pass out. You black out. And you're throwing up the next day. You're sick. And then you got to spend a whole next day recovering in a low state because you got a hangover. You're like, hey, I just feel bad about my life. And I hate now the alcohol really is going to do that. That's why I feel like that's probably the number one worst drug on the market right now. And it's legal. You know, there's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol every once in a while socially. But what I'm trying to get at is, is that depression is real. Mental disorders are real. There's other, there's other ones. Like, how can you explain somebody who's schizophrenic? If you're schizophrenic and you feel like that. I, that's why I said the, I started the video off with getting medical help. OK, go to a doctor. Tell me you have these issues. You don't have insurance. Start looking. This insurance is pretty cheap. I found some good insurance for like 50, 70 dollars a month for a single person. But um, if you got those insurance, more likely the, the, the therapist companies are not going to take it. But they have a lot of stuff online. They got this app called Nobi that helps you out. Journaling helps. Write your thoughts out. Write your thoughts out. Right. Um, at the end of the night, write them out. Um, journaling helps. You know what I'm saying? The app no be it helps. Uh, venting to people helps. You know, changing your, your, your diet helps. Get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Change your look up. You know, do some things that's going to make you want to get out and do better yourself and constantly keep doing that over and over again. And understand that it's not going to happen overnight. It's not. No matter what video you watch, how you can listen to it. Say you listen to a motivational speech for two months. You're like, I'm still depressed. You're going to, it, it's, it's probably going to take five, it's probably going to take six, probably going to take three years to, to overcome this beast to where your body is going to start ignoring that chemical imbalance that's going on. Because right now, so say you, you have a sickness, right? You got white blood cells that fight the sickness. What about when your body is releasing those chemicals in your body that's causing the depression? It, the, whatever it is, the sensors in your nervous system, whatever, if they're weak, that's why the depression can eat you up. Or that's why these mental disorders can eat you up. Okay. And you got to strengthen those sensors to ignore that. You know, I, I've been doing it for a few months, just ignoring them, getting up, putting in the work, not making no excuses. When stressful situations happen, I face them. But I'm also a lot older than a lot of people. It's going to sometimes come with age. So don't, like I said, it's, it's not going to happen overnight, but you, you just can't give up. And I don't want people out there giving up. Don't be giving up. You know, that's how people lead to taking their own lives is because they give up. It, it beats them down so much that you fail, you fail, you fail. You just want to give up, you know, and that stuff is real, man. It's taking your own life is real. People really fight with that daily. They really want to take their own lives because they don't have the surroundings. They don't have that support group. They don't have the friends. They don't have anything but issues. So now they want, then if you, I, I know what it's like. Because I, I deal with it. I, I, I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but I think I have it. You know, I ain't never been diagnosed with anxiety, but I think I have it. So I have been in a situation where I'm alone and I'm frustrated with my mind. I'm frustrated that my mind doesn't stop thinking. I'm frustrated that my mind does not stop with the negative thoughts. And I get so frustrated with it, I don't want to even want to be in my body no more. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what y'all are going through when you have these situations because it's like you can't defeat it. You know, but it can be defeated. It's going to take a lot of work. And step one is realizing you have an issue and going to go get some help, you know, and that's either speaking to somebody on a day to day basis and trying to put the work in. And the one thing I notice with people, they don't want to be helped. A lot of people want to be babied and a lot of people want to make excuses. All right. If you are somebody and you're suffering from depression and I'm giving you this video and you watch this and you just say, hey, I'm not going to care. That's that's when you become the problem of your own, you become your own worst. And most people, they are their own worst enemy. I'm my, my worst enemy. Like I, I, my, my mind holds me back from a lot of things. I overthink so many different things. So I have to learn how to control my thinking and ignore it and just do it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're one of those people who 
no matter what you try to do, then they're going to stay in that, that depressed state of mind. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Sometimes you got to leave these people. If you're somebody who's having mental health issues and you got somebody else who's dealing with it and you give them the, the knowledge that, hey, you can do this, you can do that. Let's try this. Let's try that. And they just continue there. They want to let the, the issue just defeat them. Because that's some, I got people in my family now who I'm trying to give them tips on how to overcome this. Like, hey, let's do it. They don't want to listen. I'm just like, hey, you're going to just be depressed your whole life. There's nothing I can do for you. You know, I can't hold your hand and make you want to go get the right help. And if you're getting help and you're still like that, what's the point? If you're get, talking to a therapist and I don't see no change, it's time for you to get a new therapist. It's time to change your program. Because I know some people now, they've been in therapy for 10 years. I'm like, they're still the same person. They can't be around people. They, 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 they're always nervous. You know, they're overthinking everything. I'm like, what are you going to that therapist for? That if you're still the same person from four to five years ago. I mean, there's gradual, small, minute changes, but for the most part, they're still the same person. You know, uh, you, if you if that's going on, you might have to switch up something. Really, really understand that this is a fight. You're going to have to fight. Like, I'm going to give you guys for me, like, my thought process. I had to literally meditate 10 to 15 minutes a night, and now I fall off from that because I'm wanting to do it because my thoughts is, my thoughts beat me up in my head. Not T-H-O-T-S. Nah, I don't care about them. The T-H-O-U-G-H-T, my thoughts hurt. Like they're constantly coming in. They're always just coming in my brain. It stresses me, you know, and I constantly try to fight this fight every day. That's why I never wanted to put my ki my children or anything on any medication because I'm like, we can learn how to fight it without the medication. Because you're going to get dependent on that medication. You're going to get dependent on it. You know, um, when I was having going through depression issues, I like, you know what, let me just try to get up and try to do anything. You know, that's why those, those red pill guys, they come on, your depression isn't real. It's very real. They this very real. But those guys are coming off from the idea that, yeah, you have to put an execution. So these guys put the execution in and you haven't because your depression just beat you down that bad. They're looking at you as, oh, you just can't, you can't function. You know what I'm saying? And there are some people out there who just will not do it. It's not they can't. They just will not do it. They won't. They let them make excuses. Society is lazy. I, like I said, I do social experiments every day. Men, women, all they want to do is be babied up, pampered up, and make excuses all day long. So that's why these red pill guys come out and say, oh, it's just, an excuse. it's just an excuse. It's not real. It's very real. But then some people use it as an excuse for them not to do anything. Just to be like, oh, I got, I'm, I'm depressed. I ain't got to do anything today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then you got some people out there who straddle the fence with taking their own life because they need attention. You know what I'm saying? Or they just playing the game. There's some people that are really ready to take their own lives right now, ready to do that. But, you know, they're not doing it for no reason. They actually have their real reasons to because they're just tired of being in their body, their brain, their minds eating them up. So you got to learn how to differentiate the two. But if you if really look at yourself and understand do a self analyzation, go get mental help. Go speak to somebody medically. Try to speak to somebody online. Watch self-help videos. Try to find a friend that'll listen. Get whatever's in your life out that's causing you to be so down. If it's your home, move. Make a plan. Ain't your life, you're here for years at a time. And that's the issue with a lot of people. We don't never look, think about the next year or the year after that, what we could be, what we could be doing. Always understand that fires never last forever. I've never seen an ever burning flame. And what rain gonna put it out is gonna go out sooner or later. Okay, so whatever you're going through, just know if you make the changes, it will. Okay, and understand that hey, it's real. I'm really going through something for real. I really have a real issue. Self accountability. Okay, don't be saying oh they're causing this. You know this issue. Is, uh, hey, I, it's me. I'm causing it. And I didn't want to contradict myself by saying don't say something they're causing. Don't put the whole full blame on the situations take some accountability in yourself like hey it's, it's, it's me as well you know what i'm saying that's all i'm trying to say but i really want y'all to take this video understand that this stuff can be overcame overcome you got to work hard for it you got to want it and you got to you can you, you have to imagine a life without it okay that some people don't want to imagine a life without stress or without it you know they feel dependent on it you know um i really do think that there's multiple ways around it but understand that it's real is step one, okay?
Hope so. Hope y'all like this video. It's pretty much my thoughts on it. I'm pretty sure I could I could have added more, but I just spoke on so many things. I think I repeated myself a few times. But let me know what else y'all want me to talk about in the comment section, and I will gladly talk about it because I need content. But um, it's the boy Dwayne McLean, Dwayne McLean TV. Everybody, shall be safe. I'm out.